All right, currently you have the right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law, you have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford that attorney, we will be appointed to you free of charge for the state of San Andreas. Entertain your rights. I'm arresting my deputy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're playing some more LSPDFR. I hope you guys are doing great today. We got a cool episode and we also have a really cool Dodge Charger installed into our game. And this is by Pacific Pig. And Pacific Pig has done a lot of good uploads onto the LSPDFR.com site. I'll be sure to link it down below in the description. Now he's giving you an option to add it as an add-on or a replace model. Uh, totally up to you. And then also it is compatible with DLS and also ELS. So uh, Pacific Pig is our chief of police on our SLRP server that is Silver Lining Roleplay. Uh, you can apply down below. There's an application link. It is a 5M based server, multiplayer, up to 64 players. And we keep it as realistic as possible. If you ever catch me on Twitch, and speaking of Twitch, I go live at 6.30 p.m. Central, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So be sure to check me out, guys. You can also see some uh, live uh, interaction as well on the YouTube channel. I upload it from Twitch over to YouTube. So this particular vehicle right here looks really nice. I really like it. This is the livery, the default livery, and I have it installed as an add-on, but it looks really fantastic. Uh, let me show you the uh, inside of the vehicle real fast. Here we go. Nice. I uh, really love the brick type lights there. And then really nice interior. Cool weapon rack. And then here's the uh, lighting patterns right there. It's a full stage three right there. Pretty nice. Now this is going to be a special episode because this is going to be breast cancer awareness uh, month for the month of October. And I apologize for getting this uh, actual episode out so late in the month. But uh, I was waiting for a livery from Officer Turbs. Unfortunately, I didn't really get that livery. So we're going to be using Pacific Pigs livery, and I'll show you how we're going to do this. We're going to go to Trainer. We're going to go to Vehicle Options right here. You see it there in blue. We're going to go all the way down to Livery, and then check this out. And we just go like, bam, just like that. So this particular livery right here is special because it is uh, kind of bringing awareness to breast cancer. Really love the top of the hood. Uh, Pacific Pig did a great job on this. And United is one. And I really love the logo there. It turns pink right there. Fantastic. Love the ribbon in the back. And uh, what I like about it is that I can picture this actually being driven by a police agency. And speaking of agencies, uh, this is based off of Watsonville Police Department. So this is Watsonville PD. And that's where that livery comes from. In uh, case you live right around there, uh, at least the black and white does. I'm not sure if they drive the pink one, you know, during the month of October. They, may, they probably have one, at least one vehicle that is dedicated to breast cancer awareness. And it is a serious epidemic here and uh, all over the world, actually, but even uh, more so in the United States. So we're going to go ahead and get started out on patrol. We, you are listening to live police radio, by the way. That is live. That is not recorded or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and get started with dispatch here. Sam 81. Dispatch, show me 1041. It's in a place. Now let's get out on patrol. Let's see what we can get into today. Let's go. Okay, we got reports they're gonna be sending over an arrest warrant to our database here. Let's pull over here. There it is, Jim Carter, age 44. Dispatch responding code two over there. Okay, we're gonna be looking up Jim Carter in our database. And there's my new fire truck that we installed the other day. And we did that really long install tutorial live. Uh, turned out really cool. I really like that. And let's look up Jim Carter. This is going to be an LSPD fire default style of call out. And we're going to press Q to get to the actual LSPD fire uh, actual computer. It's a little bit different than CompuLite. So we're going to type in Jim Carter. We're going to search the database. Okay. He just got hit by a car. Okay, this is uh, interesting. Okay, Jim Carter, date of birth 11, 1697, lives off 2856 Normandy Drive, one by police for defrauding multiple senior citizens. What? This guy's a low life, man. But I haven't seen that thing, the thing in the red over his, his uh, picture there. Overall crime rates have increased 45% over the last month in this area. That's interesting. 
I've never seen that before. Okay, so let's go ahead and get over there, and uh, we may not need to call for backup, but we probably will since he's got an arrest warrant, and we'll notify dispatch that, you know, let them know that we're on scene serving an arrest warrant. So we'll probably get at least one backup unit over there. Okay, we're going to sneak our way into Bonwood Hills area, and we're going to see where he lives. I think it's going to be just right down here, so we're going to park down the street. We don't want to park in front of his house and kind of alert him. So we're going to park about right over here on the side, and let's go ahead and call for backup. It's going to be over here to the left, and we're going to station right about here. And of course, you know, the car just cannot get around us. I mean, oh my gosh, it's uh, it's just impeding traffic so much. Go around me. Peace. It's going to end up bl being blocked anyway. Sam, I do one. Dispatch, show me 23. It's going to be Normandy Drive, Milton Road. We're going to be serving an arrest warrant. Stand by. 10-4, So we're going to go ahead and get a uh, code 2 back up here. And they'll probably come with lights. Dispatch requesting code 2 back up. We're going to be serving an arrest warrant for a Mr. Jim Carter. Normandy Drive, Milton Road. Okay, so they should park over here behind us. Or at least close to it anyway. Oh, it's going to be a sheriff unit. Oh, te okay. Technically, yeah, we are in the upper end of the sheriff's department. And let's see, what are they going to do? Are they going to park right there? Okay. Yeah, there they go. Okay, that's nice. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's too funny. I'm going to leave that in there too. Uh, my old uh, self, when I would record LSPDFR videos, I would uh, deleted that out and redid this whole take of a scene, you know? But I want you to feel my, my pain, okay? So let's do this. Uh, let's go to actions. I like the intimidate feature. You can press your cap locks. Uh, you saw me just do that through the menu. And I do like to kind of walk up on the house right here. And then I'll inform the deputies. Okay. Hey, uh, deputies, we got a uh, corporal's up, brother. We've got a restaurant for a Mr. Jim Carter, okay? As for defrauding senior citizens. Yeah, that's right. Back up unit. Okay, let's see if we can find him. Put my hand on my weapon. I love that intimidate feature. It looks. I think it looks pretty cool. Okay, let's see if he's going to be uh, maybe in this house. Is what I'm feeling. The door's open. Okay, I think this is going to be hit right here. Can we knock on the door? Maybe. Maybe he's going to be in the backyard. Okay, you know, let's check the back. I have this feeling. Come on, deputies. It's a big backyard. And they're coming. Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be in the back because it goes all the way to the back. It's got to pull back here. There he is, I do believe. Yeah, that's him. I oh, look, he's sitting at the pool. It's kind of cool. Hey, Mr. Carter. Mr. Carter, is that you? Hey. Hey. You got a gun? Oh, what? What the hell? What happened? Did you shoot him? What did he do? What did you do, deputy? Can I get in there and save him? Where's he at? Okay, let's see. Is he down here? Let's see if I can drag him out of here. Holy shit, man. Okay, let's get him out of here. Come on. What did you do to him? <laughs> My gosh. 
Okay, does this thing have steps? Please tell me it has steps. I gotta get him out. How do I get him out? Oh my gosh. <laughs> There's no steps. Oh, there he is. What? I can't grab him. I can't grab him. Dispatch requesting EMS. Oh, we're gonna be near Normandy Road. Good for Mr. Jim Carter. I can't grab him, guys. I'm trying. Come on, man. Get out. I wish I can carry him over my shoulder. I don't have that mod where you can carry him over the shoulder. Hey, deputies, you're in big trouble, man. Did they, like, tase him or something and he ended up in the pool? Oh, my gosh. I can't get him out. Okay, they're, they're coming. They're coming. Well, I don't want y'all's cover anymore, okay? Can I tend to him? Let me see if I can actually get to him. I'm, what am I going to do? CPR in the pool? Okay, this is legit. <laughs> this is so fun. This whole episode, man. Hey, over here. I'm pushing him up. Hey, get him. Get him. Can y'all get him? Can y'all get him? Oh my gosh. Can y'all not grab him? I really wish I could have a carry function. Can y'all not get him? Get in there. Rescue him. Okay, I think he's he's probably gonna be dead. Oh my gosh. Josh was outside with me by the cars. Okay, they get him out? Maybe we just don't see it on our screen. Let's see if he appears like we'll have to RP this out that they got him out. Is he gonna be there? I'm gonna be sick. I'm already sick, okay? We have a dead guy on our first call. Hey, you know what? Give me your name. <laughs> Give me your name. You're the one who shot him, I think. Uh, I can't even I can't even interview my own police guy here. Um, let's see. There's uh, let's just do this. Dispatch requesting a CSI. Uh, we're also gonna need a supervisor on scene. Oh wait, I am a supervisor. Thank you. Uh, is he still down there? I don't see him anymore. No. Okay. 137 and 1863 and 1234. Now they keep looking over here. What if I do this? No. She's looking here. Can I? No. I don't know where he is, guys. Okay. Where are they at? We got the corner unit here. This whole episode is just weird. Weird as hell. I'm glad you guys appreciate my pain. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is the guy that tased him into the pool. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think it was the female deputy. But we do have corner units coming. He put his hands up like he, he was surrendering. Oh, is that him there? Now he's a body bag. Okay, are they not even going to come back here? Okay, I guess they just did their work. He's officially dead, guys. Oh, boy. Okay, let's see. Let's do this. Um, I'm not sure if I can do this or not. Let's bear with me. Okay, and let's let her go. Uh, Ma'am, you can leave, okay? I didn't see you really, you know, causing too much problems. And then let's do this. Uh, -uh. okay. Can I, can I rest him? Uh, hey, stop. Stop. Right there. Get on the ground. Okay. You have, uh, yeah, you tase the guy and then you need to go in the pool. Okay, right now you're being placed under arrest, okay? I'm resting my own deputy. That's the only way I can really do it, though. Had to dismiss him as a partner. Okay, bud. 
Crabapple. So, uh, what is your name again, okay? What's your name? Charles Floyd. I dispatch requesting 27 on a Charles Floyd 429.91. Suspended license. Were you the one driving? I think you were. Okay, let's see. Let's search him real fast. Let's see what he's got on him. I can see his sidearm right there. I wish I could take that off of him. The delivery driver's at the house, and there's a three-year-old in the hallway. You got a burnt meth pipe, a baggie of clear crystals. No wonder you're driving like crazy. Okay, come with me. All right, currently you have the right to remain silent, okay? Anything you say can and will be used against you in court of law, you have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford that attorney, we'll be appointed to you free of charge for the state of San Andreas. Entertain your rights. I'm arresting my deputy. All right, let's see is uh, what is going to go happen on here. We, we got the corner on scene. Uh, this is the new corner delivery, by the way, that we installed the other day. Pretty cool, right? All right, there's our unit down there. And how about we get you to uh, jail? Yeah. See, you can't even drive. Your partner can't even drive off because you flipped the car. You know, you're, overall, you're just a terrible uh, deputy. You know that? That made you a corporal? Okay, so you tased an unarmed man. It looked like you may have shot him, too. I don't know. I think you may have shot him. Hey, ma'am, nothing to see here. Do not take photos, please. Thanks. Or hop in the seat. Okay. Alright, get on in there. Dispatch be advised, we got 115. It's going to be for a corporal for the Los Santos Sheriff's Office. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to jail and figure out what is going on there. Okay, let's pull over here. We're going to pull right here. Also, I need to do that drug test on that uh, particular stuff we found because I think he had a meth pipe or something as well and so we're going to do a narcotics field test on those crystals that that cop had on him yeah baggy of clear crystals uh, I'm thinking it's going to be methamphetamine is what I'm thinking uh, here's the back end of Pacific Peaks Charger it's pretty cool I like it it's negative for that uh, probably going to be crack cocaine is what I'm thinking He's under the influence of crack. Nope. Uh, I guess, can PCP be crystal? I don't know. Yeah, PCP. No wonder he's acting weird. Okay. Uh, step on out. Okay, deputy. Here, you come with me. Okay. We're going to go into the station. Dispatch be advised, we're going to be on scene at the uh, SO Rockford Hills. Got 115. Okay, I think he had a uh, like a drug paraphernalia and then he had PCP on him. So we're going to take him down to our police station on uh, Mission Row. Well, I guess teleported to Mission Row. Turn around. Apologize, dumbass. Come on, come on, it's cool. Sure, call us 135. Ever 130, go ahead. Turn around. Yeah, 135. Supervisor, <laughs> 2719 East 38. Yeah, email says they have never been out there, so they don't have a code. Next time you're going to jail. Next time you're going to jail. Cool. That's right. Hear that so many times, you remember the lines. Okay, sir, listen up. All right, you are uh, being charged with uh, murder. Okay. Yes, murder. And then uh, also you're going to be charged with PCP possession as well as drug paraphernalia. Okay. Oh, I just noticed something. I've never seen this cop right here come through these doors. Can we go through these doors now? What? Usually this door is locked. From a drug hey, ma'am. Hey, he asked you to leave. Okay. Get out of here. Okay, so let's do this with charges real fast. 
I can't believe it either. That's the depth, that's the corporal over there. Uh, shot somebody right in front of me. I think he tased him. Either way, he ended up inside the pool. Now he's dead. Or Mr. Jim Carter. Yeah, serving an arrest warrant. Okay, let's look at his uh, database here. That's uh, going to be Charles Floyd. Does that sound familiar? Charles Floyd? Yeah, I guess that's him. All right, he does have a concealed handgun license. Obviously, he's a police officer. So we're going to go ahead to arrest reports. Uh, we're going to go down to, uh, let's see, a manslaughter. Uh, why don't we charge him with negligent homicide? Would that would that be appropriate? I don't really know if maybe involuntary manslaughter. We'll say negligent because he is negligent. <laughs> I don't really know, but that's what I'm going to say on that. And then he had a schedule, uh, I think a schedule, yeah, to narcotic, PCP. And then he also had uh, drug paraphernalia on him as well. And that's going to be right here. Right there. And I'm kind of curious to see how many years he gets. And we'll submit those charges. Of course, the report writing would be a lot more detailed because, you know, we have it live on body cam. But uh, there would be a lot more detail into the report writing as to how it happened, you know. I'd have to go back and rewatch my own video. I don't know if it was a taser or a gunshot. I think it might have been a taser. And then they ended up in the pool, but he really went into that pool really, really fast. So I'm not sure how that happened, to be honest. Dispatch, show me code 4 tonight. Can you start with the trouble with the person that said, Okay, so I'm probably going to leave a link also for some breast cancer awareness. If you guys want to join that link or at least visit that link, it'll get some uh, information and uh, maybe also some research study type of things, you know, to help. Uh, if you know somebody that has breast cancer or anything like that, it might kind of help them with some different avenues of treatment. Uh, a lot of people, I would assume probably most of you, at least, uh, has been affected by breast cancer some way, somehow, some form or fashion, with either someone you know that has breast cancer, or you know someone personally that has breast cancer. And I know I got a lot of viewers that have, uh, you know, uh, parents or grandparents that's passed away from breast cancer. So it is a pretty big deal. Oh, that's up to the to the east. Car fire. Dispatch responding code three. Hey, we're using an Omega ninety Unitrol siren. Yeah, I didn't see that. Somebody steal the gamer would say. <laughs> okay, let's go up here. There should be a car fire right down here. Oh yeah, we're on scene right here. Dispatch, show me on scene. South Mo Milton Drive. A possible car fire over here. Okay, the officer had that car pulled over, look like. Oh, it's right there. Why did he leave? Dispatch, be advised, we got a car fire out here. South Mo Milton Drive. Anybody in there? Wow. Dispatch, requesting a fire. South Mo Milton Drive. We got a uh, vehicle explosion out here. Let me see if I can get some of this out. Uh, let's see, grab fire extinguisher. Yeah, please. Grab that bad boy. Oh, it's coming over here, man. Let's see if we can get at least this out. Okay, here they come. They're still coming. Oh man, it's spreading. Oh, Lee Moly.
Oh, jeez, man. I'm going to have to stand back because it's just way too much. Look, it's already spread all the way to there. Okay, I don't, I'm hoping nobody was in there. I don't think anybody was. Restore our fire extinguisher back. And I wonder if I can lay out some traffic cones. Get, them, get in here. Right here, guys. Now, I think the particular uh, fire engine that I have installed doesn't have a pump style of thing on the top there. So I think they're all going to come out with fire extinguishers. Which looks a little bit unrealistic, but it is what it is. Okay, stop. Hey, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Don't come down here. Dispatch be advised, we got fire on scene. Blocking traffic, just some traffic control. Okay. I was going to grab some uh, barriers or something. Oh, man. I think it's spreading like crazy. Now, we're also using a script called Ambient FX, which is kind of cool. It, it kind of helps spread the fire, which is pretty awesome. But the uh, fire department has got some work cut out for them. I wish I could tell that guy to leave and go the other way. Uh, it is possible with mods and stuff, but it's a little bit hard. She is on fire. She is on fire, guys. <laughs> Look at her. <laughs> He's like, ah, no, no problem. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> Let's keep going. <laughs> this whole episode is so weird. Look, she's on fire. Another success here, uh, female. Another fire out. She's on fire. She's still on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her. Can you put me out? She's burning alive. Okay, are they just going to stand there now? Okay, I'm going to stay clear of her since she's on fire. Like, literally on fire. <laughs> Look over here. Oh my gosh, I've never seen anything like this. This whole episode, I've been doing this for six years, okay? Six years. There's nothing much in there. And I've never seen a fire, you know... At least a firefighter just on fire standing in the middle of the street. Okay, I guess we'll just disregard. Uh, let's see if we can get a 28 on this vehicle. Hey, stay over there, okay? Can see the license plates. I think I see them there. Dispatch requesting a 28. Uh, it's going to be for a uh, four door uh, Jeep style vehicle. Uh, it's going to be 28 uh, Ocean Mary Union 250. We're going to see who this belongs to. That's a dubsta. Dave Walker. Okay. All right. Well, this is on a flatbed. You guys can see the new flatbed here. Dispatch requesting uh, 51. My location is going to be for a black dubsta. Blast license plate number 28 Ocean Mary Union 250. It's going to be a burned out vehicle here. And then uh, also, you may want to send a. Uh, an exorcist out here to extinguish a firefighter that seems to be on fire. Yeah, I think she's the devil. Thanks. <laughs> oh, I don't think they registered the 51. Requesting a 51. Let's see if that works. Okay, we're going to do a flatbed. Nothing to see here, folks. Just a, uh, you know, a firefighter that's on fire. Okay, thanks. Uh, let's see. Can I even get in my vehicle? They blocked me, guys. Oh, I can get in. Nice. Okay, she's going to stand there and just be on fire. Uh, I want to see the charges that's on this deputy. And then uh, the flatbed should come here in just a second. Cut our lights. No need for those. Okay, I think they're coming around the corner here. Uh, they should come around that corner right about another 10 seconds. And then I'm going to show you the, the new flatbed. And I wonder if I can let these people go. Uh, let's go ahead and disable traffic control. And I don't know, what it may turn into a big cluster F. But maybe we can clear out a little bit of traffic so that the flatbed can get in here. Uh, we installed this on the stream the other day. 
And then uh, here is the, the new flatbed. Pretty cool, right? I like that. Okay, here we are back in the Rockford Hills style uh, police station right here. And let's go ahead and pull up our uh, police computer here. I like to kind of usually do this and then we'll do this right here. So let's look at the court cases and this is going to be, uh, this is for something else we did the other day. And then we'll go to Charles Floyd. Now he's the uh, corporal that we arrested on scene for a negligent homicide. I don't know if that's going to be you know, correct or not. I'm not a cop in real life. I will say negligent homicide. And then possession of drug paraphernalia. And then he also had possession of PCP, which is also angel dust. I'm going to go ahead and say eight years. We're going to see how well his lawyer did for him. Ooh, 23 years. Oh my goodness. Well, you know, you got to appease certain crowds of people, if you know what I mean, that uh, do not like cops performing bad on their duty. And that was pretty bad, to be honest. He had no gun. He had nothing. He threw up his hands. He was complying. They said something about a weapon. I didn't see a weapon. And then I think they tased him or shot him. I have to go back and watch my own video. So I apologize. It, it happened so fast. Yeah, 23 years in prison. Wow. And then I uh, got one year in pr prison for the PCP and then 22 years for the negligent homicide. Interesting. Okay. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap up today's video, guys. Thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. It really means a lot when you come into YouTube. Log into YouTube and hit the like button and subscribe if you're new. I release uh, content on YouTube quite a bit. And like I said, be sure to check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Benzo Effect. 6.30 p.m. Central and 7.30 p.m. Eastern Tanger Time. All right, you guys have a great day. Thank you to the patrons and the members. You guys are awesome sauce. You guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next patrol. Stay safe. Y'all are sick. Y'all are sick. Beyond, well, it's just